Hello lads, I'm checking in from Nagaroth. I had hoped to say I was checking in from Jotunheim, uh, snow-covered Scandinavia, but um, alas, no snow yet. You all must go to the Temple of Iron to pray to Skadi to bless us with some, uh, some snow. I have uh, an epic video planned, training in nature video, which will, which will have the feel of Nordic mythology. And if we don't get any snow this year, I will transform into a uh, climate alarmist. Now, okay, all joking aside, but uh, it would be great with some snow. Now, I want to give you a little Swedish lesson. You might wonder how to pronounce Jotunheim. It's spelled with a J, but in Swedish, a J is pronounced like a Y in English, so I don't say Jotunheim, I say Jotunheim. So now you know, but uh, that's actually not the topic at hand. The topic at hand is far more important. It's about the fate of the world. I sound a bit dramatic, but um, in some way it's true. And I will take an example to to set the tone for the video. If I say to you what you eat is how you will perform both you know mental and physical. If you want to be as productive as possible it's good if you eat good food. If you want to be as athletic as possible, if you want to perform at your best in your given sport, you need to eat well, it's quite simple, everyone understands it. Uh, no, nothing strange, but it bears repeating. You know, if you have a guy who only eats refined sugar all day, he will probably not feel particularly good. But if you have someone who eats a lot of good fats, you know, fruits, protein, etc., yeah, he will he'll feel good. He'll feel like I do. More nutritional advice videos incoming. But anyway, quite easy for everyone to understand. However, if I say what you feed your mind has a great impact on how you feel, then you might say, yeah, it makes sense, but until you truly have experienced it for yourself, it's hard to understand. And of course, I get a lot of questions and comments all the time from guys who feel blackpilled. They say, oh, I'm so depressed about the future of Western civilization. Or then you can have some more environmentalist guys who say, you know what, I feel really bad because of all the plastic pollution everywhere and, uh, you know, this rainforest was destroyed now and uh, this or that. And of course, if you constantly feed your mind with bad news, just as if someone is really fat and constantly feeds his body with sugary things, yeah, it's no wonder why he is fat. Everyone understands. So it shouldn't really be so hard to understand that the mind works in a similar way. If you constantly go on Twitter to look at the latest blackpilling news, this heinous crime has happened here, and here is a picture of demographic decline, and then you go on YouTube and watch the latest rageaholic videos. Yeah, of course, nothing strange. You will feel bad if you continuously feed your mind with all of these sort of blackpilling things. So if you want some advice, and you can do it now over Christmas, take a break from social media, think about something else, read some good books, watch some inspiring films, listen to some good music, give your mind a break, give your body and brain a break from all of these constant bombardments of black pills. And I know if you have that as a routine, and you have friends who are also you know, enlightened, so they want to share with you 
an outrageous thing a feminist somewhere has said and then you get all riled up because of it it's like and it's not good you need to relax you need to not get so riled up for everything you need to have a cool head and focus on the good things in life and now I will take another example because this is important because it is important what we're talking about if you constantly hear people saying something you might actually start believing it so if someone said to me six years ago you know your English is horrendous there is no chance you will ever reach a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube making English videos if I had listened to anyone who said that you know start to subconsciously believe it yeah I wouldn't be here now you wouldn't be listening to me right now also shout out to my man Christian for helping me with my English grammar I'm always seeking to improve both my English and Swedish and then you might ask why do I seek to improve my Swedish yes just because it's your mother tongue doesn't mean you have perfected it you could always be more eloquent which is good of course if you want to participate in podcasts or um, hold speeches etc so anyway that's a good example on when you should not listen when it's actually not true because if you hear something if you're in the incel subculture and you hear 10 guys constantly reminding you that oh you need to be a Hercules class chad to ever even be able to talk to a woman now of course that's not true you don't need to be it so you can choose do you listen to these MGTOW incel subculture guys or do you listen to some self-improvement guys who might be every once in a while you know a bit over the top and a bit silly but at least they're giving you a good positive mental environment to uh, make your decisions from so we can talk about you know on a personal level um, someone might approach a girl because of you know what he has fed his mind but it goes deeper and it's also of utmost importance if we're talking about the future of the world as I said in the beginning if you have a young guy who has the spirit of Napoleon within him so greatness within him if he grows up in an environment in an online environment where all he ever hears is that it's hopeless no use you're a victim and he also watches a lot of videos of uh, European guys getting beaten up will he feel inspired to pursue greatness no he will probably feel a bit bad with himself and he might end up in a forum where he shares bad news and talks about how bad everything is now on the other hand if he had fed his mind positive and heroic images you know watching other Europeans being presented as successful strong attractive etc yeah he will probably have a completely different chance of achieving success and this is also something to keep in mind if you're a young guy if you are 20 years of age and you might be say you are an, a hardcore environmentalist that's your main thing and you see all these rivers and uh, oceans are being polluted by plastic but you also have a great intellect you're an aspiring engineer okay instead of getting black pilled in your 20s just thinking everything is hopeless think about what can you do in 10 years to aid the situation and then you might come up with you know something that helps clean uh, clean up the oceans uh, an invention of sorts same thing if you are you know a proud young European man and you want to revive European civilization worldwide it's better if you have a long-term goal in 10 years I can do something you can be a politician in 10 years so you keep yourself cool you don't do anything silly in your youth because you think oh 
this great struggle it will be solved in the next few years no it won't it won't so you don't need to have a rush you need to hurry you need to get a sense of urgency but you have to do it in a calm and measured way so then you educate yourself to a lawyer and then you go into politics or something you educate yourself in economics or whatever it might be so you see if you feel blackpilled you can choose either the productive path forward you feed your mind with uplifting messages that says messages that say yes I can do this grand goal and of course I, I feel a bit silly for saying this because it sounds so it sounds like hippie nonsense when you say everything is possible but it's true that a lot of things are actually possible if you set your mind to it so then you can choose which path do you take do you spend your 20s being bitter and black pilled or do you spend them you know on a path towards something higher so that one day you might be of better use so what you feed your mind supremely important and what I will do now over Christmas is I will actually slow down my um, everything I will make a Christmas video it's a quick Christmas greeting then if the snow actually comes I will make a training in nature video but otherwise I will be a bit slower on on all emails I will be less active on social media and I will try to take it easy load up to become more productive in um, in January so that's my plan and of course minimal activity on uh, on Twitter as well because there's always someone spreading black pills there um, sometimes you need it because you need to stay updated on what's happening in the world but you also need a break so anyway for Christmas take some time off let your mind and body rest from um, everything that is wrong with the world and then you can you know actively look up good stuff look up beautiful stuff look up um, some epic architecture or or some beautiful nature or something so anyway I have rambled on enough but um, main point when you truly understand it it's a supremely powerful insight to come to that what you feed your mind will have a direct impact in in your success in whichever endeavor so yeah I'm rooting for you whatever you do looking quite juicy as well to be honest good times good times and of course this Lidus Merino wool sweater it has 100% resistance against uh, black pills so anyway I will see you in the next video and then wish you all a good jul and Merry Christmas thank you for watching XXO BOOM